Yo, what's going on, guys? I know. I was going like, like a seal. round of applause. Erf, erf, erf. No, I was going like <laughs> a round of applause. The alligator, the little alligator. <laughs> Fucking stupidities already. Make sure that you're talking to Mike good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some madre yes. Got you, got you. Claro que sí, mi rey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to oh, the Toast to Life podcast. The Kool-Aid episode was The oh, most yeah. organic, most authentic podcast. Oh, According to yeah. our numbers, <laughs> not Google. Shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> Just stop. Man. All right, we good, we good. We're good? I'm set. Hey, last podcast of the year, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dude, we need a confetti. Damn. It was Jen's job, but she decided to go get Chipotle and coffee before this. And, and a cool stuff. jacket. Cool yeah, jacket, cool hey. Cool jacket, Jen. All right, the fit, nah, fit's on point today. Let's not skip that. Point. Chipotle and coffee combo, that's insane. That's insanity. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy filling it. <laughs> it's going to be a short Man, episode. It's going to be short. Very short. We got, oh, we got to go. We got to go now. <laughs> got to go, guys. Got to go. <laughs> Man. Last one. Of 2023. We're finally freaking here, bro. Why, 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 why am I like sugar? We're, we're finally fucking here. Jen said this is an unfiltered episode. We're gonna oh, let this shit no, fuck. We're, going we're gonna let this shit. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna let, we're gonna let it fly. We're gonna let it be. Um, fuck, man, I'm fucking proud of us. And I hope everybody that's listening into this shit is proud of their fuck themselves too, because it's been a year of tr- trials and tribulations. That's mm-hmm. right. And if you're not proud of yourself, next year. Change it. Year. Do something yeah. that will make you be proud of yourself. 2024. One day or day one. That's right. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Make that Damn. change. But don't don't be those people that go the 30 days strong. Uh, new year, new me. And then after 30 days. No, no, no. Mother, motherfucker, keep going. Yep. I heard it today with like, you want to find discipline? Well, it's when you don't want to show up, but you still do it. That's your discipline. You want to find motivation? Well, when you don't feel like going to do what your job is, but you still find some way to do it, that's motivation. Like, be proud of yourself. You're being consistent. You're staying You're staying moving. And the trick here is, and I think we've learned it this year, is like, as long as we don't stop moving, keep moving. Like, one one step. One step is better than no step. Than no step. Even if you're fucking crawling at this point, that's you're still moving in the direction you need to be going. And I think that's just what it is. Like, motherfuckers are going to, be here some motherfuckers are gonna fall off and there's gonna be people that come into your life that you'll be like god damn i never thought i would be this close to these motherfuckers yeah. talking to you guys but everybody here Honestly. everybody Honestly. here i didn't see this happening oh hell yeah. no right? nah not like this i was like nah she'd she be looking at me funny i don't i don't know if we're gonna I know. Fuck. Loki like, oh, baby. i was like fuck she kind of has a stank face but all that's changed. That's changed. Nah, I I think that that's just like the crazy the craziest shit where it's like, I mean the last internal episode that we had, um, we talk about where we started at the beginning of the year to where we are now, and I think we we've been pretty we've been pretty nice about a lot of things, right? We let we we've let shit slide because at the same time, like we don't want to entertain the circus. I don't want to be I don't want to become part of that that act. You want to act and say wild stuff and whatever makes you feel better. But I know the truth and you know the truth. And that's, that's cool with me. Bam, we dropping. I know that. that had, no, I, I know that people felt that one. Like when you know people and, and you, as long as you know the, your truth, you don't need nobody. Nobody else needs to believe it or understand it. Like as long as you know it, because at the end of the day, you're the only one that's going to sleep and waking up in your own shoes. They're going to change that story regardless of how they say it. So why waste your own energy? Every time motherfucking time, dog. Like, what is it? It's your your side, my side, and the truth. Yeah, there's three sides to every story, right? I don't know about you guys, but I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck invited her? <laughs> Turn off her mic. 
Nah, I think. Just kidding. Nah, I'm not kidding. I'm plugged. Hey. No, I think that's just what it is. Like we've been, we've been very passive. We let shit slide and mm-hmm. shit gets to us. Yes, but we let we let people have that pass. Like, go ahead. You can have it. You can have him. Just, just you wait though. Just you wait. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. And you're, now, you're gonna let it slide until that day comes, and you're just like, you know what? You're gonna regret doing what you did. Yeah. You're gonna regret doing what you did. We don't gotta say specific. And, and I think it's not even like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I you gonna regret it. That. I think it's not even like, oh, I'm going after you t- for you to regret it. It's like, no, you're gonna regret it because you did me dirty, and now wherever I'm sitting in life and you're alone, well, you're gonna want to come back into this circle because, look, all this for what, mm-hmm. right? You did me dirty for what? That's so crazy. I was actually thinking about that today because of <laughs> everything that's happened yeah, yeah, in the yeah. last couple days. Yeah. No, for sure. Um, and it's so crazy because it's like. This one person, like, really did a lot of people dirty, you know, not just me. And it's, like, I can honestly say a lot of bad things about this person and expose them. But at the end of the day, it's, like, why am I going to waste my own energy? I'm, like, I'm going to let the universe do it itself. Like, this person already sees the consequences of this person's action. And it's, like, I didn't even have to do nothing about it. Like, the world, the universe did it itself. And now, yeah, so it's, like... You know, the same way blessings come tenfold, so does karma. Like how we said, why, why are we going to let someone else change our character because of their own exactly. doing? Yeah. yeah, just because their insecurities or because they just don't want to admit that they're the ones at fault. Like, again, I think the most mature thing to ever do in life is realizing when you fucked up. And apologize. And apologize. Which Take accountability. Yeah. That's yeah. 100%. A lot of people can't apologize. You know, it's just, like I said it earlier, it's just easier to put the blame on other people. And make yourself look good, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that's what a lot of people do. Yeah, until they, they can't blame the person in front of that mirror. Again, that I'm going to use that metaphor all the time because it's like, who are you lying to here? It's hard. You're it's lying to yourself. Projecting. Yes, I'm lying to you. Like, I, I could tell you, hey, I'm the best fitness coach ever. But who am I lying to? Like, you're going to realize it at one point, And if you're living it off a lie... Well, I'm sorry, but the truth gonna come out one way or another. They ain't paying the bills. If you're the best, they ain't, I mean, it should be paying the bills. But if it's not, then and at the end of the day, too, you get caught. Just admit it. You get caught. Just accept it. On your shit. Accept your loss, my just boy. Take accept the L. your loss. Take the L. Take it. Yeah. Two easy words. I'm sorry. That's it. An apology goes a long way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It may not fix the situation anymore, but at least you got that off your chest, and at least that person knows you apologized. Is that gonna fix your relationship? It probably not. It probably not. If the person isn't doesn't value themselves and know what they need and deserve, they're probably gonna accept the apology and and bring you back in. But if you know what you want, you know what you deserve, you know what you asked for, and they can't give it to you, that's your loss. That is your loss. Now you got to keep moving, and I got to keep moving this way. Stop, fuck, man. Damn, that where are we off the bat. Damn. Minute two. But it, again, it goes back to like, yo, I think 2023, it wasn't a revenge season. It's a season of I'm going to be, I'm going to know my self-worth yeah. and I'm going to demand mine. I don't want a penny more. I don't want a penny less. I'm coming for what is mine. Like, I'm not coming for yours, right? I'm coming for mine. You said I'm it. I'm going to get my own. I'm going to get yeah. my own. I don't need to come for yours. And two, you not good? begging anybody. Yep. I, don't, I think that's it. We're not begging nobody to stay in our lives. And anybody listening in, I don't, if you're... Trying and trying for someone to stay in your life. Stop. You're trying. You're gonna keep trying, and you're gonna you're gonna let shit slide to try to keep them there. Stop it. They don't want to be a part of it. If they don't want to be, let them go. I mean, make room for somebody better. Somebody that actually will make your life a little bit better. That will complement your life. Yeah. You, know, you don't know what you can get if you don't let go of that. Exactly. Let go of the person, not the lesson. That's what we always said, right? Yes. Like. If you're finding yourself right now accepting everybody, they're wrong, and maybe they're doing a lot more wrongs than good, bro, what, what, do you, what do you deserve? What do you demand and what do you ask for every day, yet you're still not getting it? Why do you still have these people around you? That's romantic and friendships and even family. You know, you people get caught up in the family situation of, oh, I got to help them and them and them. What about you? How about you help yourself out? How can you pour from an empty glass into other people? Or like, I'm not going to keep pouring into someone when my glass is 
you know, it's going yeah. down and yours is going up. And it's like, so wait, when are you going to pour back into me? Yeah, no, no. And sometimes you just want somebody to pour into your cup, you know? So why not person? 2024 is your season. Whoever needs to get left behind in 2023, so be it. Deuces. I'm on, I'm on to a better me. I'm on to my next chapter. And if you're not in this new chapter, you should ask yourself, why are you not in here? Now, why did I did leave you out? No, no. Why did you? Why didn't you come on this journey with me? I think that's what it is. Like this whole twenty twenty three was a realization of a lot of shit. Yeah, realization, realizing like your self worth, realizing just the perspective of the whole story, like not just your point of view or their point of view, but just everything in the whole. And that's where the I'm sorry's come in. I'm, that's where the uh, yeah. like oh I fucked up or oh, no you fucked up, but at least you know who's in the wrong and right. If you just realizing everything. Maturity. Coming back later on, too. Maybe you lose contact with whoever you did wrong, but later... And, you know, I want to apologize for whatever happened. Like, I need to, like... And I know in order for me to heal, I need to speak up. Mm-hmm. So that means whoever I did wrong, yo, I'm sorry for this. I'm sorry the person that I was to you. I hope one day you can forgive me, but I just wanted to apologize. Because, again, that person may not... A, forgive you at that moment but doesn't take away that hey maybe they need to hear that shit too but you know i, I think as as men we're we're hard-headed and we continue to be hard-headed in certain situations but a big power a big uh a big power that we have is man up to what you fucked up in you have to you have to not just that just knowing your like you said like your own self worth like yeah. if you feel like you're not if you're in a shitty situation you're you're not getting what you feel like you deserve it's time for you to take a step back also and look at yourself and be like well what am I accepting mm-hmm. it's like that was my big thing this year was like I'm no longer accepting all these the bare minimum you know for anybody for friendships whether it's you know regular friendships relationships whatever it is it's kind of like well I don't like that. But I kept accepting it, and it, I had to take a step back and be like, that's not something I no longer accept. Mm-hmm. So, I think the big question that for a lot of people that may have for us, and I hope you know that you, can, you can ask yourself this too, is what changed, what changed in your life that made you happy? <laughs> yeah, that was good, that was good. Honestly, for me, it was, I'm not gonna lie, it was this podcast. I would just had this conversation, um, actually, like, yesterday with my friend. <laughs> Hold on, why am I getting in trouble same, for that? Same way you were talking to oh. oh, with wait, that friend? Wait. Who, your friend? Never oh. oh. Wait, is it that friend? Wait, no, no. it's not that friend. It's, wait. Another, it's another one. It's another friend. It's another friend. Oh, Damn, cool. hold up. I, mean, I, I think I might just... You have too many friends. I have way too many friends. <laughs> I think we all... We're all a little too friendly. Cancelled. <laughs> we're all a little too friendly. Cancelled. But anyways, I had this conversation with my friend where it was like... When I had went to the, the concert, you know, I brought my little light. I was being all extra. But I had no care in the world. Like... Who was staring at me? Some people were looking at me like, oh, like, I heard the whispers like, oh, you know, this girl's extra. But then, like, I was enjoying myself, you know, like, I got great content out of it. So I'm like, I'm, I'm doing whatever I, I want to do, you know? And I think that was my big thing this year of literally, like, not caring who's looking at you and just being confident, being more out there. And, like, yeah. you know, I struggled with that so much. You're always like, why aren't you posting? Why aren't you posting? And now it's, yeah. like, not caring. And honestly, it takes... The people around you because yeah you know like i can't just do that with anybody i had was lucky to have my best friend there carol and after she was even like girl like you're about to do this in front of everybody i'm just like i'm looking at you you're looking at me that's it mm-hmm. like you know i'm taking my pictures yeah. you know like, <laughs> like, look good. You know my yeah, like just make me you know not just For that real. like i'm paying attention to you i'm not paying attention to anyone around me you know so it was that honestly just brought me out of my shell my shell so much yeah. So I think that's what was like my turning point to be happy of literally just not giving a fuck of what anybody thinks. Like not one bit. Like, you know, we went to Nobu, dude, fancy ass restaurant with a whole bunch of weddles. And like, I felt like you get that imposter syndrome. Yeah. Oh, dang, I shouldn't be here. Oh, hell yeah. I, mean, I don't belong all the time. Yeah, it's, like I don't belong here. Yeah. And like you yeah. have all these like weddles around us and they're like staring at us. And we're being like, again, with the light, you know, taking good pictures. But when you really sit back of it and like you look at everybody, it's like, yeah, you're going to see people like look and stare. But 
at the end of the day, they're just gonna go back to whatever they're doing. Yeah. Like they don't care. Yeah, yeah, you're not, not gonna, gonna, gonna see, see them, them ever again. Yeah. So Bunch who cares? <clears throat> yeah, I think what you said right now, like I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about what you. I don't give a fuck about what you say or you say. I only give a fuck about how I feel. And yeah. if I'm good with this, fuck everything else. Honestly, That's it. The- the only opinions I probably even care about would be the people in this room mm. and then Becca, right? Yeah. Everybody else is like, I really don't care what you guys got to think. Like, I'm in the same boat as her. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the podcast and then just being around this environment and the people, like, just... Exposure. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Exposure. We're exposed to a life bigger and a lot more versatile than what we're used to as latinos we're not exposed to this yes right? and just trying to make it as latino creators as a whole Ex- it's just completely different expose yourself right like we went to dinner last uh two weeks ago or last week and we instead of just going to a regular like we went to javier's in newport yeah they're the only people that look like us well, are the us and the waiters. Us waiters. and the waiters. Oh my god, that's so that's true. that's my raza. That's my homie. That's a hey, but even you know, and then it sucks to say, but sometimes even our own raza looks at us like yeah. I'm a no 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 homie. It's almost iguales. All I'm gonna say is we're eating at the same place. Same you, place, so yeah. Just, just check hey, yourself. if you feel like you don't belong, something you belong. You take belong. up the room, take up space. Honestly, yes. I tell my friend that all the time. She's always like, "Oh, like maybe we shouldn't go there. Like I feel uncomfortable." I'm like, oh. "No, like we're taking up space anywhere we go." You have to. You gotta you know? make your presence known. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck that's the point of going. Like yeah. we went to the movie premiere. Yeah, just one of many that's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, hell wild. yeah. And initially, it's like you show up and you're like, "Shit, I don't belong here. Like, what am I doing here?" Right. Yeah. But then the more you mingle with people, it's like you see that everybody's there for a reason. I mean, our reason was literally to mingle with people and get some content yeah. out of it, right? We got content there, and then we were able to bring Tony on to the podcast. So that's wild. Yeah. So it wouldn't have happened if we had honestly been, like, insecure like we were maybe like, a oh. little while ago, a couple of months back. You're just going to put yourself in those places for the opportunity. You can't know what an opportunity is if you don't put yourself out there either. Exactly. And you can't pass up on any possible opportunity. Stop, and stop being scared of, what the, of the unknown. Stop it. That's right. Who are you affecting? Not nobody. Any not anybody else. You're affecting yourself. So you have nothing to lose. Nothing to gain. Honestly, exactly. Like you lost. Mm-hmm. You've lost so many times. What's what's gonna happen if you try this? You lose again. Well, shit. You've been there, but at least you tried it. If we hadn't been to that place, we wouldn't have fucking met people. We wouldn't have like mingled. We wouldn't have socialized. We, we could have just guests. said, <laughs> yeah. exactly. We could have just said, ah, oh, nah, we don't belong here, and just skip the Man, whole thing. Take as it a, whole. take it a step further. The days that you felt like quitting, if you did not get up that day, then what would have happened? You got up. You fucking got up. And you forced yourself out of bed. You forced yourself out of your house, your home, whatever it is. And you went out there. And look at that. You went out there and you met someone. You went out there and you got the job that you that you needed. You went out there and you met someone that gave you the compliment that you needed. And then one step further, you... You went out there, and the day you were about to take your life, you ran into the person that saved your life. Now, what do you? Now, how do you look back at this? You did it. You've been through it. You lost everything. You you went to the floor. That's it. You you're done. But look, you got up and you chose to live one more time, and you choosing to live one more day, one more one more hour, one more minute saved your life, and that's why you're here five years later. So now tell me what's the worst thing can ever happen. We said this earlier. I've been told I've lost everything at one point in my life. Yeah. What's the worst that could ever happen now? I've been told the worst. What's the worst that someone can tell me? I've been left to die for and no one cared. What's the worst that's ever going to happen? To feel alone? Been there. Done it. I've walked alone. I'm good. And that's, that's the scary part. It's, a scary part for a lot of people is knowing that... Being alone is probably one of the best things that could ever happen to you in this world. Mm-hmm. You being alone is probably what saved you because now you, you're you not depending on all those other people that left you at one point of your life and that promised you that they were going to be there. Now you depend on yourself. So when no one shows up, you showed up for yourself. Now what? Learning to be independent. Like, you're going to be alone, but what are you going to get out of it? You learn to be independent. You don't have to depend on anybody else. Now you can bring that independence, confidence, that everything that you learn onto someone else that you care for. How can I tell you about pain if I've never been through it? Exactly. How can I tell you about my healing stage if I've never been through it myself? How can I 
you you did this to me. How can you tell me about God when I when you never been through it? And I remember clearly, and I'm gonna shout you out because you did this for me. The day I posted about God and what I was going through at that moment, a couple hours later, because I posted that video in the morning. I remember I remember it very clearly. I posted it in the morning, 8:30. A couple hours later, do your part. Come. Oh, <laughs> I was like, that was me. That was you. <laughs> no, yeah. Do your part. Come. Without you knowing, you saved me. Because I left out of there with, uh, this is what it feels like. Mm-hmm. You actually were able to experience God on a different level. Because you had even told me that day, I haven't stepped into a, a church, let alone a Christian church. I know yeah. you know most of us grew up Catholic yeah. and stuff. But... um. Like I said, like it was out of your comfort zone. You've never been to a Christian church, you know, or you might have, but never paid attention to it the way you did that day. Yeah, no, it's coming from a different area, different spot. This is what this podcast has always been about. We can never talk about things we've never been through. I can only tell you, we can only tell you about things that we've been through. Mm -hmm. So for the people that give you advice, what do they do? What did they go through that allows them to be validated to give you that, that advice? Who are you listening to when you're telling the dream to someone and they're responding? Did they pursue their dream also? When you're telling a, when you're telling them what you want to do, did they also go and do it themselves? When the people that are trying to are trying to dim your light, are they shining at one point or did they also get their light dim? And that's why they don't want you to to shine. Right. People hate when you shine and, and brighten up the room. Oh, you're happy. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not. Let me turn it down. Let me turn it down. down. They always like, let me be the one to humble them. But they do it in such a cruel way, you know. And it's how we said, I mean, how we're saying this. It It's a revenge season, a revenge year, but not for anybody else. For me. For your own self. For my own self. I'm coming back from when I lost. I owe it to myself to now show same. up. I think we're all in the same I boat, we're, right? Yeah. We're all coming yes, for I the stuff that we like did. That was my, this year was that year. Yeah. That, like. I've I've said it before, you know, like when I was in my depression, like to this day, I look back, I'm like, damn, the things I could have done instead of being in bed, you know, and it's like what you said earlier, you know, everything in God's timing, you know, God didn't give it to me at that point because he needed me to be independent. He needed me to get out of that mindset of like, oh, you did this to me, like you need to fix it. It's kind of like I needed to be alone. For me to be where I'm at now, because yeah. yeah, everything is changing so fast yes. and it's crazy, and I shock myself most of the time. Where I'm like, "Wow, yeah. I did that by myself," you know. So can we say being alone has been one of the best things that ever happened to us? It's a blessing in disguise for sure. Yep. And the moment you won't realize it, and in that moment, you're gonna feel like the world's against you. You're yeah. gonna hate everything. You're gonna be down. Bad. You're gonna feel like just anything you do, like every the world is just out to get you, you know. Yeah. But you build resilience after that. On that, you know, like yeah. now find true happiness. What makes you happy? Yeah. Now I can be alone sometimes. Where or there's days where I'm like, no, I do need to be alone, yeah. and I don't see it as a curse anymore, and I see it more as a blessing. Like, let me. I'm gonna use this time to be alone, but also regroup and so get my reset. thoughts a reset. Yeah. There you go, a reset. Yeah, especially when we're in this type of environment, we need a little reset from time oh, to time. Definitely. Sometimes yeah. the days off are the best days, right? I, yeah. I'm not saying that obviously filming days aren't great, but I feel like we're in such a rush and it's such a go, go, go mentality these past couple yeah. of months that sometimes that little reset is like much needed. So it's like, hey, That's... I get to be alone. Great. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm the chilling. queen of going in my <laughs> yeah. peace out. One of them turned off. Oh, I heard a beep. Yeah. I heard a beep too. Not yeah, I heard lie. a beep. Oh, the the stopwatch. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's el baile de sonidito. Um, do you guys think it's a scary thing to reinvent yourself? No. No, I, I do it once a month. <laughs> I did it this year. <laughs> Every day, honestly, honestly, I think it's so good. Like I can't. Remember. I think I was talking to my coworkers about it. Where there's times where I'm, I look at everything in my room, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just take everything out. And then, like, honestly, it's such a fresh breath of air. Like, it's just like, you know what? It's kind of like letting go all your garbage and just 
Literally, how do you feel about cleaning your house? Honestly, like when you clean it, don't you feel like a whole weight off your shoulder? Not just because like obviously it's clean now, but like your your space will always reflect your brain. Like yeah, if no, no, no. You have a spe- messy space. You're, that's how chaotic your brain is. No, right you're now. you're totally right. Me not cleaning up the rooms here in the house was because I I was like I'm not ready. Why do I need to? Uh, what's, the point? what's the point? Yesterday, when I got in the zone to do it, after I got off the phone with Pepe, hung up. When I went to shower, I put on uh, Oceans by Hillsong. And I started crying. You know, why am I crying? Why am I fi- I'm letting go of the version I used to be. Mm-hmm. I'm letting go of the person that was once scared to be alone. And I'm letting go of the person that was once afraid to face his demons. And that's not me no more. I'm ready. I'm here to fight. I'm turning around and I'm fighting my demons. I'm tired of running. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. It's time. Me doing what I needed to do has always been there, has always been my option, but I just didn't want to take the option. It's always been there. It's it's never, it was never like, oh, it's you're it's impossible. No, it's possible. But you gotta believe that you can do it. So now that I have the strength and ability to walk on my own, it's me against everybody. It's me against the world, and I'm and it's okay. Like, um, and that's, and that's just exactly how I felt. So me dumping out the alcohol, me dumping out all the trash that I needed to, it was just like, here's the old me. It's gone. Here's, here's used to be the values that I used to have. That's gone. Here used to be the, the person that used to pretend to be okay. That's gone. I'm good. And I could tell you, and I could seriously say with the genuine uh, conviction of I'm happy. Not every day, because it's going to be ups and downs. Let's not pretend here like, oh, every day is motivational, every day is inspirational, I'm ready to rock. No, you're going to have those days where you, you may fall. And you, you may have fall. to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah. Because yeah, it's the same way, like you said, you dumped out your alcohol, I stopped smoking, and I, re- I knew it. Like, I'm going to go through my days where I'm irritable, I'm going to itch for it, unfortunately, you know, like, I'm, I'm going to want it. Yeah. And, like, just like you, I... I knew it wasn't impossible, but I knew the days were like, I get irritable, let me just take a hit. Yeah. You know, let me free my mind. Let me just, like, numb it a little bit. Um, and I remember just feeling like this isn't fulfilling me anymore. And I told myself, I'm like, look, you're going to go through some days where you're going to be down bad. You're going to be, you know, my own, you obviously have your your physical, also your physical um symptoms after where you're like your body does shake you you're in hot like sweats because like once it becomes an addiction like your body craves it craves Craves it it. and yeah and it's a crazy feeling because it's like i always thought oh it's not that bad it's not that bad it's just weed you know like no one has ever died from it it's not crack you know like i would compare it to a lot of things and then it's like when when i realized i finally like it off of it i was like oh man this was actually a problem and it's admitting it and just knowing that there's gonna be days where you're gonna be so uncomfortable and you just gotta write it out you know yeah you know sleep it off do what you gotta do and then next day pick it up yeah. hey it's a new day so all right we because gotta start got 10 minute savagery let's go 10 minute savagery okay, fuck let me you start fuck you man if you ever doubted me fuck you <laughs> <laughs> I never liked it to begin with. Let's keep it real. Nah, I mean, kind of how we said, how I just said it right now. If you ever at one point in your life doubted me, counted me out, didn't accept me in, fuck you. I counted myself in. I mean, Botox. <laughs> yeah, she has Botox. She can't feel half her face. No, like, I can't. What? What? <laughs> That's it? Let's go. Look Let's, at that mouth. I can't. Um, hold on. <laughs> I can't rub my lips together. What'd what that mouth do? <laughs> She's right like, now, nothing I'm not now. Much. <laughs> right now, not um, much. Um, 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 I wouldn't feel it. I can't. <laughs> they're not. They're not DSLs. You want right to take now. it there? Oh, you they're not DSLs there? right now. They're not DSLs. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I haven't heard that since like middle school. I know. I know. You got DSL myself. lips. You got DSL. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, man. Where do we go with this 2023? How do we end this? What? How do we let go of whatever ha- whatever trauma we had to go through this year? Easier said than done, but just get it over with. Just do it. Leave it behind. Like there's there's a reason you're leaving it behind. You worked on it all year. What's what's gonna change on 2024? Just leave it behind you. Mm. Just using it as fuel too. 
I think that was mine, um, you know, with my situation. I'm using it as, like, well, now I got to make someone proud, whether, you know, I'm no longer here, but I got to make it proud now. Like, now I got to reach my goals and make, doing the decision that I did, it was kind of like, okay, I'm going to do it for this reason. Now I got to hit all the goals, I, I promise, you know? Yeah. You got to realize that the, uh, there's a lot better things in store than a lot of the things you leave behind, you know? So the sooner you realize that, the sooner you can focus on everything that can happen. Yeah. No, for sure. I think that I heard it from a talk show, but it says, I don't read my books backwards. Priyanka said that. Yeah. Priyanka Chopra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're asking somebody about... Would, if you were uh, ever in an issue... Would, would you ask somebody you know or a stranger for help? And then, her response Oh, no, no. Was, she was like, would you ask your ex for help or would you ask a complete stranger? So if you were never in trouble, would you ask your ex for help or a complete stranger? We already know her answer. We know her answer. No <laughs> way. <laughs> That's crazy. Man. No, but her response was that. I don't read my books backwards. That's I would weird. ask a complete stranger. But it, it's because, again, I think it's that. Like, people say, oh, yeah, I'm going to leave 2020. I'm going to leave this year in the back burner. No, you're not. Because come Jan 1st, <laughs> you're over here like, I hope, this, I hope this year's better for us. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. You keep <laughs> rereading that chapter. You keep rereading that page. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, never mind. Let me just shut up. They're like, hopefully we hey. can hey, Happy Thanksgiving. It's so <laughs> they were l- I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Bro. I want. I'm so thankful for you. Thank you for Dude, everything I'm this thankful, year. I'm so thankful for like, everything bro, we went through this year. I know. Look, next year we can go through better things. Look, Merry Christmas for for guys for girls. I mean, guys are gonna hit you with it after not talking to you for the fucking three, four, five months after doing you dirty, and you're gonna be like, man, maybe he changed. No, he didn't. <laughs> Just a year changed. Just he, didn't change. no, he didn't change. No, he was last year. Trust me, he, he didn't. He didn't change. He did not. And for yeah. and for yeah. guys, you get in messages from girls, bro. If she didn't pay attention to you when you were in your lowest, don't let her back in when you're your highest and happy. Point blank. Some of you, my kings over here, just wanna. Oh yeah, now I'm ready for it. no motherfucker. She didn't accept you when you were down in bad, dog. Get a queen that loves you for who you are, whether you're you're down job. right now. Or on your on your upside, like that's it. Damn, I came from somewhere dark. No, <laughs> Tell me how you really Dude, feel. Man. No, because drop a This is this is yeah, in, Jen, drop a name. Drop a name. Fuck my ex. Drop a name. Fuck my ex. Hey. Hey. Y'all can put twins together. Hey. <laughs> I'm like y'all Fuck can put twins together. Hey. Just kidding. Look, como vale dicho, lo que se sabe no se tiene que decir. What you know doesn't have to be said again. If you know it, cool. If you don't, it's all good. Exactly. Stop being metiches. Stop, stop putting your guys' noses in business that doesn't pertain to you. And that affects a lot of people in your day in life because you're stressed about somebody else's drama that doesn't even involve you, but you want to get involved because you want to be in... Why? Oh, once it goes, it goes. Right? Because um, what, <laughs> there was a meme today, and it was like... <laughs> there was a meme today when it was like, when your girlfriend's friends try to have an input... In your relationship, it's like, what are you going to tell me? That I'm a hoe? Who gives a fuck what you say? <laughs> Bro, they, they real relationship. I'll, I'll just say that. Honestly, mm. I, I'm a stronger. <laughs> mm. friends. Let's go. They're friends. Yeah. You want to drop a name? It's crazy. It's crazy. You, you know who you are? Drop a name today? Nah, lo que se que si. And the people that are genuinely interested in whatever drama we got going on. Oh, trust me, is, they'll find you. Oh, they'll listen, no you, matter what. You'll get that, hey, girl, I know you don't know me, but... Oh. <laughs> okay, speaking on that topic, though, speaking on, because obviously it happened to me a couple times, one recently. Um, has anyone ever came up to you as a... Like, text you, like, hey, bro, like... Yeah. Like, are you messing with this girl? <laughs> like, how do guys do it? Because girls is always like, hey, love. I think, no, I... <laughs> hey, like, love. Hey, love. I know, it's always... Hey, love. When she really wants uh, to be I like, yo, bitch. Know me. Like, no, you really know me. No. It's because they're trying to get info, so obviously oh, they're going yeah. to be nice, you know? Now, I, think the, I think the worst one was, like, I was friends with, with someone, and her man went through her messages, and literally the person is telling me how her man beat her ass. Like, beat her ass, bro. Like, crazy. And he's over here, like, trying to one-up, and I'm like, bro, 
You need to go fix your relationship and you need to go talk to God. <laughs> you need to save yourself. Jesus, Jesus you need Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, but I think someone like actually pertaining to a relationship that I was actually in, this was in high school when I'm literally, literally get to class and the message I get is through IG and it's the dude like, hey, don't know if you're still with this person, but me and her have been hanging out in college. I'm like... <laughs> Nah, Did your heart drop to your ass? <laughs> oh man, I was crying. My eyes. I was like, I'm doing one better in high school too, though. The person came up to us. I didn't know they were still together, and then it was like she was like, "Give me a minute," and I'm like, I'm oh, like standing over here like a couple feet away, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. We were talking, and then all of a sudden I just see him crying, and she just came. She's like, "That's my man." That's my new man. She was like, "Let's go." I was like, what, what, "What's happening?" He's like, "Oh, nothing." Just he, he just stayed there and I, we just No, my dumbass My dumbass forgave that I was like, oh, you know, it's lying No, when I went, we we're going to our game for, for football I get a message on the bus like, hey Don't know um, What's happening, I just want to tell you Man to man, I don't know if I'm going to show you the messages In person, but this is Still going on, I was like, if I see you I'm fucking you up <laughs> Those are the best This No, no, what, what, what fucks everything up is that like that day I had the all out game. Like I was mad, bah, hit, whatever. When I look at the stands and see my mom in the stands because she comes to all my games. She's there. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, right there. And then after the game comes, right? Like as always, boom. She had no clue then. My mom didn't, but she did. She knew because oh. I told her. I, I, I let that shit know. Oh. But then she took me in and out, so it was cool. It was forgiven. <laughs> we worked out, though. You know what's Because so I crazy? cheated back. You know what's so crazy? When they text you, and then you start putting, like, two and two together, you're uh. just like, oh, bro, like, double life. And it's so crazy because, like, my situation, not only was it just me and her, we found out it was another one. There was three. Damn. And I was like, bro, because it's so crazy. Because she's like, this isn't you. I'm like, no. She's like, it's not me either. It's another one. And it's so crazy because, uh, like, there's a few, like, that happens that happens to me a lot. Because I know you said, like, oh, you're ready to fight that person, right? In high school, like, that was my situation. But me and her, I feel like I always end up becoming friends with other girls. <laughs> Like, yeah, girl, what if we both go fuck up and shit? For real, let's go. Cool. You no, bond over a fuck up. <laughs> no, you know what's so best crazy? Friends? Yeah, like me. So there is me. Her name is Gabby. Shout out to Gabby. Um, It's so crazy, though, Tell because... Me. I thought you were going to say somebody else. <laughs> no. Wait, who? Your new bestie? Oh. <laughs> I mean, we added each other on IG, so. Oh, that's, pro- then, that's and, positive. That's positive. And it's always that's like, and girl. she was like, hey, girl, if you ever need to talk, I was like, girl, I'm same here. Like, I'm here for you. We both went through the same experience. Jesus. <laughs> like, y'all, y'all fucking bond over trauma. Do we have, so like I said, my friend Gabby, I remember like, it was like my first boyfriend ever. He was playing the both of us. And it's so crazy because me and her literally look like twins. And I remember wanting to kick her ass. No, I remember okay, like I, part. I remember like I wanted to kick her ass. And then after fast forward like my twenty first birthday, she came to bring me a bottle, right? And my mom walks in and starts talking to her like, "Hey, don't like I don't know saying what." And she turns around, she's like, "Oh shit, you're not my daughter." <laughs> like that's how crazy like we look alike that we look alike. So can you? Even, I would have said I'm that. Sorry, can you even blame your ex then? Yeah, I would like, y'all look the same. He, I maybe his eyes were a little wonky and shit, and he couldn't see straight. I don't know. His head was wonky. Like he was. <laughs> we don't speak a about little, him. A little wonky. We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk like about Bruno. No, no. Nah, I think, well, again, this is just a maturity now. It's understanding, like, bro, like, yeah. one, you don't need to test your manhood or your womanhood to go fight for someone that literally didn't fight, for you. didn't fight for you. And disrespected you. Try. Yes. So if you're in that situation where you either caught them or you're, you're catching yourself trying to fight for something, like, bro, if they're not willing to fight for you, End it. And if you're caught in a situation where you're fighting for some, why? Why would you need to be in a situation where you have to fight for someone's love? Like, either you guys have it or you don't. Either you both want it or you don't. Because, yeah, love is tough. Love is work. But it should never be that hard. Where it's like you're fighting for dear life. And you should both want it enough, yeah. right? Or the same. Or as close to the same. If not, why are you with that person? Bro, the older we get, we know what we want. 
Let's so, let's yeah. not fucking if kid ourselves. If it's confusing, it's not for you. Like if it's any type of you have any type of confusion on where you stand, like it's, it's not, not for you. Because at the end, at our age, like, yeah, not just that. Like God is not gonna give you something that's confusing. He's gonna make it known. Like this is your person, and I truly believe like He will make it known. Like yeah. God's not gonna give me anything where I'm gonna have to question like where do I stand in this person life? Like yeah. He's not gonna do that to you, you know. Yeah. So is this. Again, if you're in that situation, guys or girls, and you're catching yourself fighting for someone while they're putting minimal effort, bro, you deserve the world and more. Treat yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't settle for somebody that the day tomorrow finds someone in a better situation than you, and you lose them. I think that's, that's again, that's learning friends and, and romantic where someone is in a better situation and they tend to gravitate better. But it takes a very few to be like, hey, I'm going to work through this with you. I see right now you're struggling. I see right now you're at the beginning. Let's grind this out together. Cause there's no more beautiful thing than the people that start. Like, you get to enjoy this life that you have now with the people that you started with. And, again, it's different. You know, now we're, we're entering. It's kind of tough trying to see who else can come in. Because we're like, well, damn, you didn't, you didn't start this with us. So, like. Yeah. You have to do something spectacular for me to really trust you. It's like now you got to work for it. Yeah. So it's like someone comes into your life trying to show you love and attention, all this. Well, it's like, do you know, do you really know who I am? Like, do you know where I come from, what I've been through? But again, it's just like, I don't know. Or when they try to re-enter, it's kind of like, why are you coming back now? And then you kind of second guess the other person's intentions. And it's like, well, when you left... I was a whole completely different person. Yeah. Now do you even know me to say that you can just like walk in back into my life? Now, like when someone does try to walk back into my life, it's like, I'm going to sit back now the way you sat back. Yeah. And I'm going to let you do the work now. Like, I'm not going to be super cold hearted to you, but you're not going to see the gen you used to be with or used to have around, you know? But you don't think that at the same time, if we are re-entering someone's life and we're doing everything you asked for, yet you still want to be that way. Don't you think there's a point where it's like, well, I should, why, why, am I, why am I now doing all this, yet I'm not getting it in return? So like you're saying that's the other person coming in. Yeah. I mean, if depending how the situation played out, so like I think I, if you're the one who... So, so hypothetically, like I already hurt you. We already have a history. Yeah. But now everything you asked for and wanted, okay, now me re-entering, I'm giving you all that and then some. I'm reassuring you every single time. But yet you you're not you're not giving me that back now. So now where do we go? What's the move? So you know what's so crazy? I actually had someone try to re is trying to re-enter my life in that way. And the same way I had told this person, I was like, I'm I'm gonna I'm going to let you do the work, but I got to see it first. And when I start seeing it, then maybe I'll start bringing my walls down. By the end of the day, you don't get to tell me when I get triggered, how I react to certain things. You did the damage. Now you got to deal with the consequences. So say you hurt me and then, you know, going down, the, going down the line, you're doing good, you're doing good. But you do something and it triggers me and I react in a in not like a good way, I guess. Um, you end up at the day, you have to deal with it because you did the damage. So now do you just end it there or do you just keep being resentful? I mean, that enough there, I don't want to mm. say don't hold the resentment towards them. Have your moment. If you act, you know, you act out of character because you got triggered in that way. It's up to that person to be like, OK, do I really want to be in this person's life to yeah. to deal with it now? Because unfortunately, I did the damage. If not, hey, you know what? This isn't for me anymore. And you have to both parties have to make that decision. See, you know, it's good though. Like you're doing the mature thing and actually being like open and being like, "Yo, it's it's not working out." So like, it's, yes. let's work towards fixing it, or let's just end it here. Because exactly. that's why yeah. like communication is so big. Exactly, yes. like, that's yeah. like the key point right there. Communication will break or It'll make you or break make it. a relationship. I think, bro. At the end of the day, we're not here to waste time. Exactly. It, if you want a certain thing, you be straight up about it. Yeah. But if you want this for the long run, the long haul, that I know I'm ready for, let's communicate and let's work at this. Because whatever is worth it does never come easy. And love is for everybody, but it takes work from both parties, how you said. 
So if you're ready to put in the work day in, day out, through the good and the bad, the ugly and the beautiful, vamonos, let's do it. But if you're not, if you're ready to call it quits at the first sign of trouble, walk away. Do us both the favor of you saving you, wasting your time, so to say, and me putting myself out there when I know I can be using my energy for somebody else. Because exactly. now it's like energy. Exactly. And if, like, if you, as a person, I'm not one to hold resentment towards people. I am. <laughs> I know you are. Oh, <laughs> I know you Damn. are. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not that person. Oh, I don't have sorry? it in my I'm heart. Fuck. <laughs> I don't have it in my heart because <laughs> at the end of the day, it's like kind of saying that, that, that Bible verse where it's like, if you're here without sin, throw the first stone. Who am I to hold something against someone when God doesn't hold anything against you? So that's how I see it, and that's why I always say I don't say hate. I don't hold resentment. I don't hold grudges for that same reason. It's like God doesn't do it to you, so why are you gonna? who are you above someone else to hold it against someone else? So I understand people can do you dirty. At the end of the day, it's a reflection of who they are. Yeah. You know, you can't hold that against them, unfortunately. Like, why drink? Why It's like drinking your own poison. Why hold resentment? What does it benefit you? And who are you? Who are, like how you're not above anyone else to really judge that person, whether they hurt you or not. I understand it hurts, but how many times have you hurt other people? I won't hold a resentment to you, but I will remember what you did, so I won't allow you back. I don't like I. I personally wouldn't care how long it's been. Me personally, I don't care how long it's been. If I know you fucking hurt me, and I know you did me dirty. And I knew that I'm, this is what you use against me. I'm going to forgive you because I know I need to be better. I need to function. Mm -hmm. But I will never forget what you did to me. So don't try to come in and act like everything is brand new and, oh, we're good. No, no, no. We are good. Okay, hold but on. From I'm going to take it to another level because now I got into, like, I'm in preaching mode right now. I'm on us. I'm in a preaching pastor mode. Now. I'm on us. I'm on us. Pastor. 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 I'm on us. Pastor. Pastor. Taco del Pastor. Taco del Pastor. Number one. Number one. Tres tacos de asada. Tres del Pastor. Cuatro tortas. You say. I actually don't like the Pastor. I'm using your carne asada. I'm basic. Hey, turn that mic off. That's crazy. Whatever. <laughs> we're not. In, we're not back taking to, it. Back, 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 to, back to the mode. I lost my train of thought. No. Um. So we're like I said, if you lived without sin, throw the first stone, and you're saying like, doesn't matter how long it's been. It's kind of what if God turned around and said that to you, like you sin all this time, but I'm not gonna let you in now because you did that. It's the consequence. That's true, actually. It's my consequence. If you don't let me in, it's because I did something wrong. Yeah. Like, I don't expect... But, it's it's it, so it, but it's wouldn't it, you me. want that forgiveness as well and be like, God, take me back? Like, I need you. Because at the end of the day, we all need God, right? Of course, or, of course. You know, in my I, case. I, I need him. And I and I hope I hope he does. I, I hope he does. I'm going to do everything in my possible power mm -hmm. for me to be better. But at the end of the day, if I did something that jeopardized that... There's no expectation. I can't expect but you. He, you know what I'm again, he died for our sins, right. right? And he does want you, and he yeah. does want that. But it's I, up I, to you to open up your own heart and have a godlike heart. Yeah, but I won't. So the I same won't way God open. will go and like accept you back as long as you repent, obviously. And but I'm not letting that person back in to my life I'm personally. I'm the same. I will forgive you. To me, I'm not person. gonna forgive you for you. I'm gonna forgive you. For well, you. Let, now preacher do school. What's up? Oh, ready? Damn. But okay, so don't try to take my title. No, please. no, no. <laughs> so right now, Preacher's like here. right now, just kind of playing the other part to it. So what you said right now is this person has to suffer the consequences of their actions with me. So if this is a person coming brand new, coming back into your life after some time, why would you still hold it against them? After so long, after you made your growth and change, and you see this person making their growth and change, so why would you be like, wait, you triggered me? Now, okay, this is the way you got to handle this. At the same time, we're all human. Exactly. There it is. Whoa. There it is. Let there it is. How many mistakes? Explain. How many? Okay. Let me explain. Yes, we're all human. We're all going to have human reactions, Correct. right? Correct. But uh, like I said, have your moment. But after that, take a step back and be like, okay, you know what? I did I did react this way. Yeah. It's because you did X, Y, and Z, and it no, triggered exactly. me. 
Is it? Now it's, again, it's communication. It's how do we fix it? How do exactly. we sit down and move forward from it? Yeah. You know? Like, we're human, dude. I get it. We all, we all make mistakes. We're all, we've all what, done something to hurt other people. How many times can you forgive somebody I think for we're, the same mistakes? How many times can you How many times have God forgiven you? Endless. Wow, let's go with endless. endless. Let's go endless, with endless. right? Yeah, yeah. So let's go with endless. To, I get your point to, to that. Sense, but at the same time, it's like, how many times are you going to allow that person so it's like, back in? Because they so apologize. Because I, I was like, let me find that Bible verse. There's a Bible no, no, verse no, for no, son's and, and I understand there there is that right. There is that, and I'm so grateful that that you're in that for us. Because you give me that light. You give us that light. But it's just like hypothetically, we got in a relationship, and I hurt you three, four times. <laughs> I hurt you, but you I'm a, I'm but I'm gonna take a year and I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna take a year or two and I'm gonna come back. And I want to re-enter your life. Now why? Now what? Are you going to re- let me re-enter your life after hurting you three, four, five times? After I've told you how much you've been hurting me and what you did to me, and now you put me on my lowest, and now this... See, me personally, I wouldn't because, bro, you hurt me like no nobody else could mm-hmm. in my life. You yeah. did this to me. I'm, I was broken, and I hope that you would have came to save me when I asked you for help, but you, you never did. And you decided when I let you back in, you decided to do it again and again. I'm sorry. It's like, why would you give somebody the opportunity to come back into your life and just screw it over and hurt you again? When you're was, finally think, feeling at peace, when you're finally feeling good. So I'm actually in a, a predicament. Predicament. Hey, what's that? What's that one from? <laughs> Stay junior. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. So I'm in that situation right now where there's one person trying to re-enter my life, and this person had did me so dirty. And, like, to the point where it's, like, we literally own nothing to each other, and you still decide to hurt me, right? Um, Whose fault is that? Again, it's both sides taking accountability. One, you did the damage, and me, I was young, naive, and had to take accountability for what I allowed now coming into f- now forward, it's like one now I'm not a little kid no more. I'm a woman. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. You, but like, who it is? you know, like I like, you know, yeah. became a woman. I have a different mentality. Um now it's like, okay, I see this person did the inner work. He whatever he's doing, you know. Am I just gonna jump straight back into it? No. Like show me you did the work. And at the end of the day, it's still up to me whether I want to continue th- with this person in a romantic way, in a friendship way, whatever way. That's th- always ends up t- up to me and what I'm going to allow again or not allow. But then is that fully forgiving somebody? What do you mean? Oh. What, do you mean? what do you mean? No, yeah, like what do you mean? Like if you're literally, I guess, allowing him to come back in and like little bits and pieces to show you, are you does that mean you already fully forgave him? Because it doesn't sound like you forgave somebody completely. It really doesn't. It right? If the no, whole it's thing hard. is like, I'm going to forgive you and I'm going to let you back in. It's hard like because we all got us. triggers and traumas. Okay. Yeah, but like so you're still it. letting him in. Like like how you said how God forgives like You're us. like on a test trial right now because yeah. I am I can drop your ass tomorrow. That mm-hmm. doesn't sound like you've for fully forgiven somebody. And are you I going think to it's just more forgiving? growth of, like I said, of what you allow. So, like, <laughs> we can continue to keep going. Yeah. Then, you know? we can keep going. No, I think it's the end of the day. You're backtracking now. It's what you allow, you know? And it's like, like I said, I can drop this person tomorrow, right? Doesn't mean we're going to drop in bad terms. Doesn't mean I'm going to be like, oh, you know what? This isn't working. We're completely done out of my life. It was just, it doesn't work in this situation. I like, get that you no. do you, I do me, you know. But it's not fully I, forgiving, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. And I get that you have. We all have triggers, traumas, and all that. Obviously, mm-hmm. we may do something. <laughs> <laughs> we may do something that may trigger you, but you give him that test trial is not you being forgivable. Like you're not forgiving that person. At least not Even, completely. Not completely. Mm-hmm. Like you could, like you could forgive him, but then obviously you're still gonna have triggers. That's that's completely different. When then, like. I mean, me be very transparent. Like, when you come back to an ex with all the trauma, like, there's so much shit that you got to work through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, man, I love you and I want you to be in my life, but God damn, like, it's still the same. Like, you're still, now that you got me back, now you went back. Now I'm going to put up with it because I think you're still going to change. 
as guys, like, we talk about change and change, but, bro, the environment never changed, so why would the person ever change? You know what I'm saying? Like, now you're still carrying yourself the same way, so... Well, like, even ask, like, what... What's different this time? Yeah, right. what's different? Oh, oh well, well, let me, let me. I'm just different. What's I'm just different? <laughs> uh, I'm different. No, I'm, I'm different. different. <laughs> different yeah, different so it, it's just, but it's just that, like I've that, been like every time I dye my hair. Like I think when you try to go back to like a uh, uh, an old person, like an ex, with like that was you were in love for like five, six years, uh, high school, whatever it is. It's like, well, I want to be back with you, but my Mine is playing games of like, man, so wait, who is this person that now you talk to when I wasn't around? Now I'm playing all these scenarios in my head, guys and girls. They start playing. You can't take it everything. there. But again, that's going to be your own self hindering yeah. yourself. Like, but whatever was yeah. done while yeah. you guys were separated, just let it be. Like, you guys weren't together. It is what it is, you know. That's your own insecurities coming up. At the end of the day, we start thinking, oh, who did this person mess with? Or yeah. who's that person? No, no, you know? no, for sure. But it's I think, like, like, to... get the, out your own head. And, like, to, like, the... You're, we're talking now about, like, the romantic, but I was talking about, like, f- friendship. Friendships. Like, I could give two fucks about you now. It is what it is. Because when I gave a fuck, you didn't. So why why do I give a fuck now? Mm-hmm. Oh, you think I'm an asshole because I don't give a fuck? <laughs> Deal with my consequence. I wish you the best, and I hope everything works out for you, but just not in my life. I hope everything in the in this world gives you what you need. Yeah, you can just not just doesn't come from love me. Love someone from afar. From afar, it's again and right now. Okay. Right now, you have the VIP seat in my life. You got it. You can call me, text me, show up whenever. But once you ruin that, whoa, shit! You're at the top of the birds. You're over there holding up by security. Nosebleeds. Nosebleeds. <laughs> oh, bro, can I? Nope. Nope. You're not part of this no more. And you have to be accepting of that because whatever you did mm-hmm. allowed me to get to this point. Because I am I, I give, we're all this. We give everybody the benefit of the doubt. Time after time. And even the next time that I shouldn't have let you, but I did it. And then you still did it. Well, shit, now it's on me. Now it's my fault, right? What is it? Like, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Shame on you. And then fool me three times. Yeah. Can't chopper. get full again. <laughs> Yeah, like a, I mean, just like J. Cole said, fool me three times. Can't get fooled again. It's not going to be my time no more. I, you already showed me your true colors. If I told you once, you still did it. So you twice, still did it. Third. It ain't going to happen. You ain't never going to You're never going to listen. You. Yeah. So, I mean, it just, I think, I'm, I think now we're trying to live a life trauma free, trigger free. Mm-hmm. If I see this person already bringing up my. Oh, Nope, I can't, dog. I'm sorry. It's I really protecting can't. your peace. I'm like, you're an amazing person, but I'm not going there no more. Be an amazing person away from me. Away from me. Be an amazing person <laughs> to somebody else, not me. Yeah. Like that's it. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna allow certain things, certain levels, and I'm gonna give you the rope to do it. Like trustworthy, I'm okay, I'm gonna give you the trust all like Horka said, I'm gonna give you the trust all the day in the world. But the more you start jeopardizing it, the more I retract. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna show you the love because you deserve me to. Sh- you deserve me for me to give you all the love, and not in bits and pieces. You get it all right away. But the more you show it, why I shouldn't? The more I start retracting, and then as soon as it is, I'm done because it's it's not a. I I wouldn't be fair if I love you with limits. I gotta love you unconditionally at at the beginning and at first, and if it works out great, and if it doesn't, it's okay. I just know I gotta. I can't change who I am. I'm a loving person. I just got to change who I'm loving too. So don't change who you're. Don't change who you are. You're a really good, loving, great person. But just change who you're good to, because those people will know how to take care of that love and attention and tenderness. Like I know it. That person never did. That's why you felt that way. I do. So it's like, again, I've said we said it months ago. The people that get hurt. Are the ones that man, I, I need to change, man. I give everybody my love and attention and my care and I'm putting them first before me. And for what? Just to get fucked over all the time? I can't be this way anymore. I can't, I can't no more. It's like, no, dude. That's who you genuinely are. You're a loving person. You're caring. You're affectionate. You put people before you. Now it's just time to change who you're good to. Be mindful who you're giving this to. 
I want to be very mindful of who I'm giving my love to and my trust to because I know not everybody deserves it, but the people I'm giving it to, they deserve it. And that's why I'm here. So it's like, I'm, I'm going to continue to grow. I'm going to continue to grow as a person, as an individual, mentally, emotionally, and physically. And I hope whoever comes into my life, romantic or, or even just friendships, also is on that journey. Because I can't be on this journey with my whole team and then this person like, nah, I'm chilling it up. I don't, growth, what the fuck is that? I don't need it. Oh, <laughs> trauma, fixed traumas, what the fuck? Is, nah, fool, we, we all got them. Yeah. We all got them. So, man, really quick, best moment 2023, what would it be? Learning how to communicate better. That's where I found my happiness. Damn. Wait, what? Well, I, well, oh, well, right. I, well, I said, what's the best moment in 2023? Best moment. Yeah. It could be on this or outside of this. I'm going to keep it that you had. podcast related. Okay. Uh, San Diego trip. First internal podcast. Not because of any of the other <laughs> bullshit that <laughs> happened or anything. I think we all had a little too much fun. But San Diego trip, that internal podcast was probably the best part of 2023. Because that's where. No, totally. Yeah. Yeah, because that's when I realized, hey, yeah, you can kind of do this. Yeah, yeah. Mine, I wouldn't say one specific moment, but just breaking on my shell this year. I oh, mean, yeah. just this past week, like the Brent Fias concert. Like, yeah. I guess I went with people, but there was a moment where I was by myself. <laughs> There was a moment where I was by myself, like I had to walk by myself. I had to like <laughs> no, oh, wow. no, no, like that. Like, like, no, like, no like, I'm trying to like say it without saying it. But <laughs> what happened to unhinged? She, she's unhinged. in her she's in her season, guys. That's no, we got okay, no. There was a moment where, you know, like <laughs> I was like, how do I say this? Where the person that was there with me, I guess, had to leave. Okay. And honestly, I had to enjoy the rest of my show by myself. My best friends, you know, they were up in the stands with their with the other tickets, and I literally was by myself, you know. And like, it was so cool, like just getting there. I was taking videos of myself, and people were like just watching me, and like it was just me being alone and just being confident and be like, oh, I can like record myself, and I don't care who's watching. It goes back to that I don't give a fuck who's watching. I'm going to do me, you know? And I think those were my best moments of 2023 were all the moments where I just said, fuck it. And I did what I had to do. And honestly, those created the best memories ever. Like, I made friends where in places where I would have never thought. Because I feel like my anxiety used to always hinge me from even going out in groups. Yeah. Now I'm like... Oh, peace out, guys. Like, I'll meet you guys after the show, yeah, you know? I'm like, content. Yeah, I was like, this. no, not just that. It's like, peace out. Like, I let my friends have fun. I'm like, I'm going to go enjoy the show, you know? Yeah. Like, it just being, doing, and just knowing that, like, I can do that. And now, like, who knows what else I'm going to be doing by myself. And just being, yeah. walking into a room so confident, you know? Just not caring. Thanks. That's good. Yeah. yeah. That's the best part right there. That was my 2023 best moments. Getting your confidence, huh? Getting my confidence, definitely. Yeah. I think uh, my best moment in 2023, we, we're recording this before it, but it's going to be San Francisco. <laughs> it's going to be our trip. And yeah, I think that's it. That's going to be my, whew, here it is, guys. I think in San Fran, I think we should all like, you know, this was a big year for all of us, I yeah. would say. I feel like we should take a moment and starting now, write a letter to 2023, what you needed to let go. And then we should have a moment. We should like throw it off like, the bridge or something. I don't know. Jump like, off the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cut that part out. No. Cut that part out. No. no, for sure. Cut that shit. <laughs> Cut that part out. Fuck that. <laughs> no, Do not story. get canceled 2023. 20, no, nah, we won't. Now, leave me um, <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get left behind, my boy. Don't get nah, left behind, guys. I think, um, I think yeah, it's just that... Uh, would be San Francisco is going to be my it moment because, yeah, we did the giveaway, found happiness, everything and, and that, everything and much more. But I think 20, that moment in San Francisco with all of us and whoever is able to go, it's a, uh, we made it. 
it stayed alive. We got up. We chose us. No llores, who? <laughs> and I made it. She's a three step. I am. <laughs> Bro, his eyes are getting watery. That's crazy. Chion. <laughs> Is that? Yeah. It'll be, I chose myself and I chose to fight and I didn't quit. And I think for all of us, is I'm so proud of every single one of you guys. Right. And um, we finally got out of our own way. Mm-hmm. And honestly, we have you to thank because you pushed us every single one of us in our own ways you know like i know you constantly hit me up i know you constantly hit up you hit up everyone individually and honestly like i remember the first time i came on the pod you threw me out there and i was just kind of like oh hell no like this motherfucker <laughs> like he's yeah. like i'm gonna fucking fuck him up after this because like I, you put me in an uncomfortable situation you know yeah. like i'm not gonna lie that first podcast i was so uncomfortable i was nervous my whole body went numb and then like Dude, look at us a whole year later, a year and a couple months. Like, we you were the one who really pushed us and, like, messaged us all the time. I need you to come. I need you to come. Even when we felt like we weren't doing anything. I remember there's so many times where I'm like, what's the, like, point? What's the yeah. point of me going? Like, I'm not contributing anything. How many times have I told you, what should I do more? What can I do more? Yeah. Because I always felt like I wasn't doing much. And then just the more you brought us on and, like, like you said earlier, like, we started taking it seriously the more we got on too and like realizing our own potential is kind of like dang like you saw this from the beginning we didn't even see it you know and individually i already had my relationship with you guys and with becca and i knew how amazing that was i just needed the world to see it and you yeah. had a plan. you just needed a platform <laughs> yeah that's exactly I had a plan it. All along. So, i just needed a platform recording on the nigga really quick Press the recording on there. Damn, it's 10? Yeah. I know, dude. We were supposed what to be here so for like fun. 2 8. All right, here we go. So, a, <laughs> our final toast to life for the year. <laughs> Woo, we did it, bro. A toast to life to a successful 2024 coming. If you made it this far and you're hearing this right now, you're hearing this message, I am proud of you. We're proud of you. You made it. Keep going. Keep fighting because the best is yet to F and come. So my people, my family, it tells a life. I love you guys. I'm love proud you. of you guys. And let's do this. Cheers. 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 Toes, baby. <gasps> oh my god, I just saw myself too. How did you do that? <laughs> ah. Ah. That was good. Fucking was it? Return this. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs>